Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry. And alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, it's a flat 4-5-1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. The starting lineup then for Queen's Park Rangers. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And the match begins. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, later in the game, he might have seen yellow, but not at this early point. Yeah, but I'm with the referee. It's a foul, but no card. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Good technique displayed, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Stefan Johansson. In possession, Joao Carvalho. In the right place to cut out the pass. A chance maybe from the wide position. Crossing opportunity. Just the challenge that was required. Well, foul play, says the referee. Joao Carvalho oh breezing past him what a big chance that was keeper has the ball field Dykes are getting the ball forward real chance oh a great chance it was goalkeeper has it Well, now he's let that run out of play, and it will be a throw-in here. Chair. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, the cross came over, and a real need to get rid of the ball here. Carvalho. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? He has time to play it over. Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. 
Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. And intercepts again. Plenty of support here. Getting the better of his opponent. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second-half display. So, back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. The referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. A chance to whip it in. It's a neat move. And cuts inside. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. James Lea Siliki. Francisco Geraldes. Joao Carvalho. Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt, a long way wide. And into the last 30 minutes now. Jake Clark, Salter. Field. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Takes aim! Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming. So, a personnel change then. Francisco Geraldes. He read the situation defensively and did his job. 20 minutes to go in this one. Might be a chance here. And still an opportunity. And there it is. An almost intuitive piece of finishing.
Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. So back underway following the equaliser. Not the pass he had in mind. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Oh, big chance! I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. James Lea Siliki. Oh, breezing past him. Could be. Really sound defending. Denied once more. Well, the chance has been missed. No other way to describe it. Here it is now, a substitution. Kenneth Powell. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Still pushing for a winner. Can they convert? And the referee blows the whistle. Still all square at the end of 90 minutes. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And just like that, he's come up with the save. In it goes. His turn to try to convert from the spot. And it's gone in. Clinical, as always, in front of goal. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. Oh, he saved it! And he scores! You want a pressure cooker? This is it. He must score. And the penalty converted here. Well, it's quite straightforward. Score, and it's over. Well, under pressure, that's a very composed penalty. And over the course of the game, they just about deserved it. 